What's up guys? It's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. Let's get them! This week we have it's Time Investors is back. This account is run by like red pill incels, I swear. It's an like I guess a money motivation account. Some of the motivational videos I've seen are actually pretty good. But then you put shit like this on there and you just lose me. Like stay in your lane. Like stay in your lane. I'll stay in my lane. You stay in yours. Some dude with a weird hat who appears to be wearing a lab coat. People who wear lab coats while they're speaking at an event. Just screaming, hi, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Doctor, 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 doctor. Did you know I have a PhD? PhD, 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 PhD. Look at me, look at me. PhD, PhD. It's a PhD. Have you seen the PhD? It's a PhD. It's a PhD. Okay, see the PhD? Okay, I'm just gonna hold it here while I watch this video. Okay, let's go. Taking protein powder, not a good idea. So taking protein powder is not a good idea. Okay, let's, let's see what insight he has. Good idea. Not a good idea. Cut it out. We did it. You we cut it out. It for a while. You will notice the sugar levels go up, your insulin production as well, and it's got a lot of glucose in it. Protein powder has glucose in it? PhD. What protein powder are you eating, Chief? Although I do, actually now that I see his, his headband, it is the Star Trek Enterprise. I do like that, that's cool. He went from having negative 1,000 points to negative 999.9, okay. This protein powder that has sugar in it, not sure what protein powder you're looking at, but okay. And it will cause IGF-1 levels to go up and it increases protein synthesis, risk of cancer, and decreases autophagy. Oh boy, this guy's just using all the buzzwords. Oh, he's a cardiologist. Hi, so he has DR in front of his name. He, he's a cardiologist, maybe a good cardiologist. That does not equip him to interpret research literature or to interpret nutrition literature. That's like me walking into a cardiology surgical suite and going, hi everyone, PhD, Lane Norton, Dr. Lane Norton here. Don't worry, I've got this heart transplant. You guys can go home. No, you wouldn't do that. So why are people listening to this clown about nutrition? Now I just told that autophagy is so important and yeah, this thing turns it off. Protein powder turns off autophagy based on what research literature? Oh wait, he just pulled it out of his ass. Don't do protein bars, <gasps> for goodness sake. For goodness sake. You don't need it. And nature doesn't give you protein on its own. It gives it to you in the form of meat. You want some protein? Go and eat the meat. You want some protein from meat is a great source of protein. The urge to make a meat joke is high and I will leave it at that. PhD. You want some protein? Go eat the chicken or the fish. And make sure it's nice and lean and not fed on corn. Appeal to naturalism fallacy. You get too much omega-6 as well. Oh, he's an anti so, There you go. If only, PhD, we had human randomized control trials where they give protein powder supplements and look at markers of metabolic health and cardiovascular disease risk. Oh, wait, we have tons. And what do they show? Neutral to positive effects on inflammation, insulin sensitivity, blood glucose regulation, and metabolic health. This guy is a clown. He doesn't know what he's talking about, like his headband, but he can go in the bin along with anyone who tries to do cardiac surgery with a PhD. PhD. I'm out.